Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get this super easy everyday eyeshadow look. And for this look, I used my eyeshadow palette with Sigma and only one eyeshadow brush. This is my go-to everyday eyeshadow look that I wear all the time with my palette, and this look is perfect for beginners. So the palette I'm using today is, of course, my eyeshadow palette with Sigma. And when I chose all these shades and designed the layout, I specifically laid out this quad to be my perfect go-to eyeshadow quad. I wanted these four shades to be the first four shades of the palette palette because they create the perfect everyday eyeshadow look. And then for my one eyeshadow brush, I'm using the Sigma E25. This is the one brush that I think everyone needs in their collection, and I'm not the kind of person to tell you that you need something, but if you're new to eyeshadow, you want to kind of up your eyeshadow brush collection, this is the one to start with. This brush does a great job at applying and blending out eyeshadow. I also like that it has a flat side to it, so I can use the flat side to kind of tap on shadow. I use the tip of the brush to blend in smaller areas. I mean, you'll see that in today's video, but I did want to mention if you have really small eyes You might like the e27 a little bit better And this is literally just a smaller version of the e25 So if you have small eyes hooded eyes, just not a lot of lid space to work with the e27 might be a better bet for you My code Angela bright will save you some money on Sigma's website if you're shopping for brushes or some other makeup products But my code will not work on my palette, but it will of course work on brushes All right, let's get started with this easy eyeshadow look Okay, so with any eye look you always want to start with an eye eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just an oldie but a goodie eyeshadow primer. I like that it has the slightest tint to it so it does kind of cover up any discoloration or redness. Then I'm just taking kind of a large concealer brush. This brush is number 71 by Sephora Collection and I'm just patting the eye primer in. If you need an eye primer that has more coverage to it, that has more of a tint, I really like the Rare Beauty one as well. So I am just patting in this primer all the way from my lid up to my brow. And I also make sure to pat the primer out here towards the corner of my eye because I do blend my eyeshadow out here and also towards my nose right here. So like I said, we'll be going into my eyeshadow palette with Sigma and we're only gonna be using these first four shades today. I love this little quad right here. And then for my brush, I have my nice clean E25. So I'm gonna start with the shade Basic on this brush and I'm going to pick up the shade on the side of the brush just like that. And then I always make sure to tap off the excess. And we're just gonna start by pressing this eyeshadow into the outer half of the crease. You can always pick up more shadow if you need to. This is a pretty light shade, so it is okay to build it up. And I'm also gonna bring this shade on the outer part of my lid. Again, I'm just doing a little pressing motion. Once I have that shade laid down, I'm now gonna to start to do more of a blending motion with this brush. So just gently wiggling the brush back and forth around the edges. And then I'm also gonna bring some of that shade right into my inner crease. So the shape is kind of like a C shape almost. So starting from here, wrapping all the way around to the outer part of my eye and also on the outer part of my lid. Now we're gonna deepen things up a little bit with the shade of Schmugula. Now the shade is very pigmented, so you only need a little bit. So I'm gonna dip more of just the tip of my brush into this shade. And again, tapping off the excess because the shade is very pigmented. And I'm gonna deepen the outer part of my lid, so I'm not gonna bring this shade as high as I did with basic. So again, just doing a light tapping motion. And then whatever's left on my brush, I will bring into the inner crease, just like I did with that basic shade. But I don't need much shadow right here. I do want most of the shadow on the outer part of my eye. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of basic and just go around the edges of Schmugula. This will just ensure that you get a nice blend I know I said I was gonna stick to that inner quad, but if you need even more help blending, the shade Bare is gonna be your best friend. So I'm actually just gonna flip my brush over, pick up some Bare, just like that. 
and I'm gonna blend bare kind of around the edges here just to really soften everything out. This shade matches my skin tone almost perfectly, so it really helps to diffuse the edges of my eyeshadow. Now I want to go in with the shimmer shade on my lid. Now depending on how intense you want this shimmer shade to be, you can use either your finger or the E25 brush. Your finger is going to give you more of an opaque application and the brush will give you a much softer application. I'm going to use the brush just to show you what it looks like, but first I need to clean the pigment off of this, right? I'm going to take my Sigma Switch. I use this every single time I do my eyeshadow, so I'm just gently swirling the brush on this. And it's not cleaning the brush, but it is getting all of the extra eyeshadow off of it so I can easily switch between shades. So for my shimmer, I'm going to take Champagne Problems. And again, I'm using the flat side of the brush. So I'm going to pick it up like this. And again, doing a little tapping motion, I'm going to tap this into the inner part of my lid. See how that just gives like a soft kind of glowy sheen to the eyes? absolutely love this shade but I do think I want it to be a little more intense on my lid so I will take some of that shade on my finger oh just look at this it's so beautiful and I'm gonna press that right on the inner part of my actual lid there we go see how that looks more kind of opaque now it's gonna take my e25 and kind of go over that to make sure I'm happy with the blend the nice thing about these shades is that they go so perfectly together that it's it's kind of foolproof in a way. All right, I went ahead and did my face makeup off camera. Now let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm just gonna make sure all of the pigment is off my E25 again with my Sigma Switch. And again, we're gonna take the shade Basic, but this time I'm gonna pick it up on the tip of the brush. So the shade is on the tip of the brush like that, and I'm gonna blend that across my entire lower lash line. Just doing a back and forth motion all the way from the inner part to the outer part. Now again, I'm going to take a little bit of Schmoogula on the tip of the brush and I'm just going to tap a little bit of that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I like to make sure that the darker brown shades connect, so I'm also going to touch up Schmoogula right out here on the very outer corner of my top lid. And again, I'm using the tip of the brush for this. Now I want to get these brown shadows off of my E25. Now we're going to go into the color bright for the highlight shade. And again, tip of the brush. And I'm just going to lightly pat that in my inner corner. Again, you could also use your finger for this step if you want this shade to be a little bit more pigmented and intense. And I'm also going to bring a little bit of the highlight shade right under my brow. I'm gonna go curl my lashes and pop on some mascara. Okay, my lashes are done. I just used my Shiseido Lash Curler, and then for my mascara, I'm wearing the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. This has been my go-to mascara. I just love how this makes my lashes look. They look nice and dark, they look lifted. It's very easy to work with. This is definitely one of my favorites. And I decided to not do fake eyelashes today since I know that probably 90% of you watching this don't wear fake eyelashes on a daily basis like I do. But here's a close-up of the final eye look. And here's what the eye look looks like from far away. This is just a beautiful, perfect everyday eyeshadow look. Like I said, I wear this eyeshadow look almost every day. I think it'll look great on anyone. In case you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm wearing the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Liner in the shade Puffy Nude with my favorite nude lipstick at the moment, which is the BK Beauty Lipstick in Grace. As always, I'm gonna link all the products I use today down below. And don't forget my code Angela Bright will save you 10% on Sigma's website, but it will not work on the palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.